my fellow readers. It's time once again to do my TBR game and check in with the ultimate reading challenge, like pick my next category to aim for for March. So essentially my March TBR, um, but also quickly go over what I did for February. So as just an update on like how February went, for February I read Seventh Time Loop, the villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. And also Cross-Dressing Villainess, Cecil Cecilia Sylvie, Volume 2. And I really enjoyed both of these. Both of these are great if you like traditional shoujo manga and like fantasy with a twist. Like a lot of YA fantasy is more like how these are laid out. There's a big love triangle in this one that I am kind of torn between who I would like to see Cecilia end up with. Um, but it's just fun and cute and quirky and it was really great to continue on with that story and in that world although I still wonder like how far it's gonna go but there were big reveals in this one that I really enjoyed and then Seventh Time Loop I did not realize I would like as much as I did really fun um, this is a reborn story like she tends to die before I think it's the age of 20 right around there um, and she has died in multiple ways, multiple times. This is her seventh life, hence the seventh time loop. Uh, and she's hoping this time to actually live, but there's a lot of weird occurrences happening and she ends up, um, at this point I think engaged, they're not officially married yet, but um, with who would have been like the major enemy. And she's hoping that being with and around him that she can change future. I kind of want to review this one so I don't want to get too in-depth, but this was really good. And then uh, for a library book, for the library TBR game, I listened to the Libby copy of um, Don't Fear the Reaper, which was book two, uh, After My Heart is Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. It's a horror book and it's based on like slasher horror movies. Uh, so like the main character she does not think that she's the final girl type because she is not what is typically seen as the heroine um, but she somehow manages to always go against the main uh, villain and well you know you know how slasher films are but it's just it's really good so there's a crazy serial killer who tries to kill all the people and and she's always like fends them off anyway I love that series I love horror it's really good there should be a third book coming out hopefully as soon as possible but probably not for another year or two um, so that was my TBR game choices and then I did uh, the ultimate reading challenge now I did end up changing one of the ones because I'm still currently working on the uh, write down a favorite quote or passage from a beloved book and display it in your home I started uh, sketching artwork, but then it was, I don't know, I, I didn't get to finish it. So I'm postponing that one, although I'm still working on it. So then I did do the blind date with a book. And I went to one of my favorite areas. Like, technically, I could read what genre it was. Um, but I picked out a romance for blind date with a book and it ended up being the love con which i thought was okay um it wasn't quite as good as i would have hoped it would be but it was still it was still a cute romance um, and it did deal with a lot of issues um the protagonist in it is a black cosplayer who also wants to be like a costume designer like she wants to design the costuming professionally and maybe do wardrobe for a film and so she goes on to a reality show and then I don't remember why like I, I think you had to choose a partner or something uh, so she gives her roommate slash best friend's name but implying that they're in a relationship and so it's a fake dating as well as that but it does talk about a lot of the issues that she as a larger black woman has to deal with in the cosplay realm um, a lot of the prejudice that people give her and there's a judge that's really like horrible and for the most part I really like the book and a lot of the issues in it but there was also kind of a blondness to the voice and this could weigh heavily on the narrator and I also hate to do that because 
they were putting in a good effort with the um, narration and acting of it, but something fell flat for me. But in general, I think it was a good book. Read a book that's been sitting on your shelf unread for more than a year. So I did do that. I did read um, The Ancient Magic Magus Bride and I actually got caught up in it. I bought the... I think I was missing a volume to get completely caught up, so I read that as well. And now I'm all caught up on Ancient Magus Bride, and I am still trying to determine whether or not I want to keep that series. I did like some of these volumes, though, so I feel like it's turning around. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> so for the prizes for those two, I got a little... Uh, reading notes <laughs> notebook and then a door hanger Shh, I'm reading right now which I would just leave on my door all the time so I'll put these over here and then uh, I actually did substitute one of them and I'm trying to remember which one I chose to do <laughs> oh uh, there's one I just have to find it read a book based on the cover there it is. Read a book, select, book you selected based purely on its cover design. And there's a new book called a Really Good Actually that has... Um, I borrowed it from the library, so that's why I just have to tell you because I've already returned it. But it has like the... I'll try to like post an image of the cover, but it just has a girl like crying on the front. And I was like, oh, what's this about? And again, not like my favorite read ever, but... It was okay. It dealt a lot with like mental health issues, especially, um, this is not coming out, after dealing with uh, a bad breakup. So in her case, she was with somebody for a long time, and then they got divorced. I'm just going to tear this out because it's stuck. <laughs> they got divorced, and so a lot of it is her recovery from that and um, learning to love and accept herself. Uh, and, and it was good. It was okay. I get done with them I tuck the flaps in so I know that I've already done them and gotten the prize out so I'm pretty sure that what got stuck in there is a little yeah it's a magnetic uh, bookmark and it's really cute it's just a stack of books so I do like that one I'll put it with my other magnetic bookmarks a lot of bookmarks and I really don't need more but I also like really love them so for March my choices are I'll get this out of the way before I do my TBR game my choices of categories are to attend an author event in person or virtually uh, I'm planning to attend a virtual um, it's kind of like author talk but there's four authors present their their upcoming releases and then what else am I doing oh book club I'm going to participate in book club which I could already pull this but I'll just have it counted for March because I've attended multiple book clubs already this year but I'll have that be my goal for March so there you are that's what I'm doing for that not as exciting as like is it not actually TBRing anything? But that's alright. I'm going to do my TBR game and I'm sure I'll read more beyond that anyway. So, the top one on here for this time is the library. So let's get this one over with. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Let's get it over with. I'm going to make sure I got the draw cards first. <laughs> Okay, and then pull. Draw four cards and choose based on your current mood. Okay. That's a good one. I'm so glad it wasn't like that random generator, but who knows, maybe one of these will be. So I should make sure to mix these up because I can't remember if I did how I stuck them back in. And I'll do one, two, three, four. And my choices are read a book by your favorite author, read a most recent release, read a book with yellow on the cover hmm. or read a book without people on the cover <laughs> I kind of love that uh, geez what would 
would be best to do? I've read some recent releases. I'm trying to think if I have like a, any holds or anything coming in that would fit one of these. And like what my mood is. <laughs> like I technically have one on my list already that could work. Both for yellow and for no people. At least I don't think there's a person on it. Maybe I should check in. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this one because I've already borrowed it from the library and I haven't gotten to it yet. And there's no people on it. But it's The Honeys by Ryan Lasala. And I'm really looking forward to getting to this book, so I think I'll do that one for my library picks. I am more than likely going to have other books read as well, but I'm excited for The Honeys because I was viewing stuff on it and it sounds good. If I change my mind, I will <laughs> let you know. <laughs> And now we're going to do my light novel choice. I recently uh, cleaned out my... Not really cleaned out. I organized my TBR cart so it's much cleaner now and I'm not as worried about <laughs> stuff just falling and losing stuff. I, I was good. I'm hoping not to get that number generator. I always mix them up and then it's like always <laughs> pick the one blah blah blah. All right, draw five cards, look at them, put them face down, shuffle, and pick one without looking. Okay, I can do that. So this, again, this is only my first one. I always do two. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and I can look at them first. Okay, read a book you think will be a five-star prediction. Read a book with three plus words in the title. Read a book that matches your favorite bookmark. Read a book with your favorite cover. Randomly generate a number and then read that book on yourself. Why? Why is this one like drawn to me? I, okay, anyway, we'll shuffle them and I'm really going to hope that I don't get that number generator one. Not like it's <laughs> been bad, but I just feel like I get that every month. I am just moving them all around and shuffling them. And then I'm going to randomly choose one. Okay. 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 Let's see. What's there? All right. I pulled one. Read a book you think will be a five-star prediction. Oh, light novels. That's hard. I like them all. Um, oh, I'm tempted because I know... I know one I would definitely give five stars to, but... I want to choose something else. And now I'm torn between two other ones. But I kind of want to go with this one because I was so drawn to the cover. And I'm really hoping that I like it as much as the cover. And it's uh, The Silent Witch. I love this cover. And it's just based on it. And like <laughs> I'm going to say I would predict that I would give this five stars. And this is... The shyest witch you'll ever meet. Monica Everett, the silent witch, is the only mage in the world who can use unchanted ma magecraft, a true hero who single-handedly defeated a legendary black dragon. However, this young genius is actually super-duper shy. That's right, she learned to cast spells silently just to avoid speaking in public. And despite her power, she has zero confidence. Now Monica can, has been tasked with secretly guarding the second prince. Can she keep it together as she faces both the evil forces targeting the prince and the terrors of social interaction? I'm just saying that this will likely be five stars for me because I love everything about that. <laughs> so there's my first one, The Silent Witch Volume 1. And now I'm going to keep these five cards separate so that I don't draw them again. And the draw card, I'm just going to give another little mix to. Alright, and so this one is, pick the number card with the number month you're in. Okay, so the third card. That's not bad. One, two, three. 
read a book you are most excited to read. Okay, well then, that's going to be the one I would have also given five stars to, um, just automatically. And it's Hirano and Kagiera. <laughs> this is the, I guess, I think it's the prequel to the manga series. This is the light novel. And for sure, I'm going to read this one. This is the one I am so excited to read this. I was so excited to get it in. It just came in uh, a week or so ago. So super excited. I cannot wait. And with that, that really wraps up my March TBR. Of course, I will be reading a whole lot more than that, but those are my targeted reading that I'm for sure going to do. So we have The Honeys by Ryan Lasala. We have um, Hirano and Kagira and uh, The Silent Witch. <laughs> Those are my for sure picks that I will be reading, as well as uh, my book, book club choices, uh, which I think for crime we're reading Paul Dorian, Doiron. I don't I don't know how he says his name to be honest, but <laughs> but that's for crime. And then um, we're doing a local author pick for my other group, so I have book clubs going on for March, uh, but. Anyway, that is it for this video. Until next time, bye.